Oh, hey, you guys. I didn't see you there. I was just multitasking. Um, what's up? Welcome to the Daily Allison. Today is Tuesday, and uh, I originally had bubbles, and I wanted to be doing the that thingy, the up and down thingy with the wheel thingy, and then blow bubbles, and then also use this, which would truly be multitasking um, and, and putting all my skills to work at once. However... I think that I may have, I, at one point I had bubbles, and I think I may have thrown them out, because obviously I don't need them, so that's a bummer that I threw them out, though. Uh, however, in the course of looking for them, I did find lip gloss and a light bulb, both of which were rolling around the bottom of a box. So apparently I packed a light bulb loosely in a box, and it survived the move here, which I think is, um, it's hard to believe, but it's true, I swear. Um, and speaking of moving, today our guest is someone very special, um, and he is in the course of packing up his apartment in Portland, Maine, and moving to New York. Um, and it's Bill Schultz's brother, Alfred Schultz, because I was like, anyone can talk to Bill Schultz if he'd return their calls, but Alfred Schultz, I'm going to make this kid a star. I'm just kidding. Um, let's see, do we have anything to discuss before we talk to Alfred? Well, last night in New York, it was a crazy lightning storm, and I woke up in the middle of the night and checked Twitter, because that's what I do, and Pat Kiernan had written something like, everyone's been woken up by the lightning storm. Um, but I was too out of it to really realize that, A, maybe something kind of cool was going on, you know, meteorologically, meteorologic, meteorologically speaking. Yeah, weather-wise. Um, but too awake to actually get a good night of sleep. So instead, I'm just kind of on edge. Um, yeah. And anything else? I mean, there's so much I could say, but I'm going to wait because... If I'm doing this every day, I'm going to need stuff to talk about. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to run out of stuff to talk about. So there's this dog that I'm in love with named Button that I saw on Pet Finder. And I actually, um, I, I put a link on Twitter yesterday, so some people have actually seen this dog. And I put in an application for the dog. Um, and then going against the directions on the website, I called today just to find out if the dog is still available. I did not get through. However, it's the kind of thing where, I mean, it, it explicitly says they don't answer questions unless your application has been approved. So it's sort of like when you're applying for a job and they don't want phone calls, and yet you suspect if you're me, the people who are the jerks making the phone calls and bugging them are the ones who are going to get the job, whereas if you're me and you're meek and you're just hanging out back here, you're going to be unemployed with no dog. Okay, let's call Alfred. Where's my phone? Oh, he's a DJ. I should have said that. I better say that. Hello. Alfred Schultz. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You're on live, taped with the Daily Allison. <laughs> I am, and so nervous right now. Are you? I'm don't you? Well, you hide it well. Okay, so you're a DJ, yes? I uh, guess. Do you have a DJ? Do you have a DJ voice that you use? I would hope that you would just assume that this is my DJ voice because it's such a wonderful daily tone I'm speaking to you with right now. Uh, actually, the station I was on for the most part was kind of trying to be cool and low-key, so it, we have the whole, hey guys, it's 10 past the hour. We didn't really do that that much. Right. It was more like NPR? Sort of, yeah. It was uh, what they call AAA station, which is adult album alternative. Hmm. So, yeah, so I my lack of radio voice. Do you, um, no, no, this is, uh, when I said do you have a radio voice you use, what I meant to say is, do you have a real life voice you use, this is clearly your radio voice. Absolutely, it's actually, it's very falsetto, usually, I won't even, only dogs can usually hear me talk, so, I won't, it's not my phone speaking voice, but yeah, that's my real voice. Are you surrounded by mutts all the time? Constantly, they follow me everywhere, it's a hassle, but, uh, whatever, I'm scared of dogs, which makes it. Even worse, but whatever. Are you scared of all dogs? Uh, not all. Um, I like uh, chihuahuas mainly. Um, okay, that goes right into the heart of the matter. I think the people probably want to know stuff about your brother, but I want to know 
your problem with the movie Lady and the Tramp, because this is one of my favorite movies, because I have an eye for quality cinema. No, and I don't, I don't doubt that. It's just more of a, um, you know, when I was a little kid watching cartoons, I wanted to laugh and be happy, maybe sing some songs along the way. You are a Didn't simple child. Judy? I said, you are a simple child. Exactly. You know, I like to be entertained. You know, the world is such an ugly place, and I think we should uh, seek out cartoons to bring joy to our lives. Yes. And Lady the Tramp, much like Pinocchio, was pretty rough, and, you know, I was just very frustrated because Lady, I, I think that was her name. It know, was. The film. Uh, the title character, she, you know, was mistreated, and I did not like that. And those Siamese cats rubbed me the wrong way. So. Oh, yeah, they were jerks. They really were, and I did they not were a couple of assholes. people who are nice to other people, and those Siamese cats were not nice. No, they weren't. Um, you, but, you know, in terms of the Disney sort of disturbing canon, 101 Dalmatians is actually worse. You know... You're right. I, always, I remember Thank only you. seeing that probably once, and I was, I think, just way too high to really follow the harsh parts. But, uh, yeah. No, I, I don't really remember about her wine filmations all that well. Were you really high? No, I was six, so. Oh. Uh, well, that doesn't necessarily rule it out. Now, didn't you have a dog growing up named Pepper or something? You did. Yeah, you clearly read my bio. <laughs> um, yes. yes, it was the called dog A Dog Named Pepper. Yeah, she was a dog. Rest in peace, Pepper. Oh, I'm sorry to uh, bring up a... It's okay, it's tough, it's tough, uh, but yeah. And you weren't afraid of her? No, 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 I actually was very fond of dogs and still am. And uh, Pepper, uh, Pepper uh, touched me down deep inside. She was, mm -hmm. uh, she was a good girl. That's delightful. Now, who was funnier, you or your brother or your other brother? Uh, well, uh, here's, uh, sort of a test for you. Um, who's on a television show and who will be living on said brother's couch? Really, it sort of explains who's the funniest. Um, and actually my old, my middle brother, who's in between us, who does real estate, he is <laughs> probably as funny as Bill. And really? I don't think I, Bill would say that. Just kidding. You don't, you don't think Bill would say I'm that? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You're starting a family feud right now. I'm trying. Is it working? Uh, yeah, well, I'm getting furious. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so they, uh, yeah, they're definitely funnier than I am. I just steal their material and give it sort of an Alfred spice to it. And mm. then that's where uh, some people might confuse that I have a sense of humor, but really it's just that. It's just the special Alfred spice? Absolutely. It's my special sauce. Wow, it's a sauce and a spice. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, sauce. Wow. Okay, and how's the packing going? Uh, awful. I'm really happy that I don't have any dust allergies because I would be dead at this point. It, it's rough, and I don't take good care of my stuff. The little stuff I have is all broken and awful. So it's not going well, but uh, I'm procrastinating quite a bit, so that's fun. Right. You're doing this. This phone call that's five minutes but feels like two hours. This has been the best five minutes of my life, and I, uh, I would, I, I, this is not procrastinating. This is working for me. Getting my name out there. Right, exactly. You are, um, okay. you're pressing flesh, you're rubbing elbows, you're mingling, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. In a sort of oral way. Um, okay, and so when is the big day? When do you descend on New York? Um, probably Thursday, unless this, this back in. That's the day after tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, so, um, I've been sort of poorly packing for a while, and now I really need to get down to it, and so Thursday's the day I'm planning on driving in. Hmm. Well, um, that's exciting. I feel like yeah. there might be, maybe something, there'll be a change in the air on Thursday, and it'll be because you and all your dusty crap have arrived. Much like, uh, you know, the winds change, so it's like, much like Mary Poppins. Exactly. Another movie that we had talked about. Absolutely. At a certain time. Um, well, listen, the time has come for you to return to packing, and I have to I go. I am doing this. I'm, I'm lonely, so let's, let's keep talking. Oh, but, but we're out of time, sadly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to right. turn you away and then just leave you high and dry like this. <laughs> but this was... I have used to it at this point. Well, thanks a lot I imagine. for letting me on the little show. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I look forward to meeting you in, the re in, in real life when you get to town. Definitely. Uh, feelings mutual. Okay. I'll talk to you later. All right. See you. Bye. Well, that was fun. We're totally over time. Um, I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.